hey what's going on guys this is ali and welcome to part 3 of this tutorial series in this tutorial we will write some server side code to add new employee update employee and delete employee flip to visual studio and go to the employee controller we need to create an action method here we'll add new employee We will receive this message in jQuery. Okay. Status will be true. DB dot employees dot a. This employee object. DB dot save changes. Okay. Return. We want to return the JSON. Status will be status. Message will be. message guys we will get the id of last inserted record to do this in this way you can get the id of last inserted record and request behavior will be allowed it okay now go to the view we will call this action method in ajax we will invoke the click event of btn save We will create a JSON object employee or BJ first name Salary First we will specify the URL in Ajax controller name is employee and the action method name is create specify the data type specify the request type 
which is post content type Now stringify this object we will use the success method of Ajax We are expecting the response. Response start status. dot success this is the message that we are sending from controller we are getting this message okay response dot message then this will be the title of notification message okay Save the changes and run the project. We will try to add new employee. My Tyson. This is my favorite boxer. Click on save. This is the title of the message. And this is the message that we sent from the controller. Okay. Guys, if you notice, we have still two issues. Number one is what happens when user leaves the fields empty and press the save button. Let's try this. Press save. This will save an empty record into the database, which is not a good programming practice. There should be validation. Okay. And there is no indication for the required field. So we need to resolve these two issues. Flip to Visual Studio. We will write CSS to indicate the required fields. Create a CSS class. Content will be static. And the color will be red. Okay. Copy this class. And paste it into the model. This is the label for first name. Paste it here. This is the label for last name. And this is the label for salary. Right? Save the changes and refresh the page. Now this is indicating that these fields are required. Now we will add some validation. In this function we will check if the fields are empty. We will display an error message. Okay. Copy this line and paste it here. This will check if the txt first name dot val equal to empty or
display an error message for notification purpose we are using the toasters write toaster dot error all fields are required okay close this section in else save the changes and refresh the page click on add employee leave the fields empty and press save button now this is not posting the data to the server and displaying an error message that all fields are required okay now i will enter some text in the text fields mary smith click save now the data has been saved successfully okay that's it for today guys in next tutorial we will see how can we refresh the data table without reloading the whole page so please rate comment and subscribe my channel and watch the next tutorial thanks for watching